it is a new day, which means a new destination for me and Olivia. We are off to... Gentle. We are taking a three and a half hour bus journey and the weather is amazing. I don't know if you can see it out the window, but it is so, so hot. It is keeping up with us. It is staying very, very hot. So we are traveling with Pammy Calais buses. We didn't have high expectations just because we didn't know anything about domestic travel really in Turkey. And because it cost us. Like six pounds for both of us. Six pounds for a three and a half hour journey. But we booked directly through Obilet because mm -hmm. you don't need a Turkish number to book through there. But if you book directly through Pammy Calais, you will have a bit of an issue. So far, we are so amazed. The departure time was 12 o'clock and it left at 11.58. Yeah. So bang on time. Everything's going fine. And even though it is hot, this bus has air conditioning. Yeah. It has the up-to-date films. Actually, hold on a second, we'll show you. So the air conditioning up there, it has a bunch of games and films, TV, and most importantly, a catering service. service. <laughs> Which I don't know if it's free or not. It doesn't look like it, but it's still very, very impressive because we haven't been on a bus that has offered that. No. Even like the overnight buses. Yeah. I think Ecolines did, but it wasn't like an actual up and down no, service. No, 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 no. It was just like, you would go to the front and be like, can I have like a drink? And they'll just give you like a water or a Coke or whatever yeah. you wanted. But this, so far, it seems very good. And check out our view. about three stops till we got to our actual destination and then we're waiting for our mini bus to get to our Airbnb. It's a bit more manic here than Seljuk so I'm, I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah we're a bit stressed because there is and there's so many people at this bus station but the bus station's huge. It's a really nice bus station to be fair. The journey went okay didn't it? Yeah. It was really really good. I do recommend that bus. Yeah this weather is this crap. This wet Ooh, this weather is crazy. I couldn't speak for a second there. We're just trying to find our mini bus. We're gonna head to the BMB and then we'll show you guys where we're staying. Bus journey done. <laughs> mini bus done. The mini bus was so weird because we had so many bags. Yeah, we were just annoying yeah. everyone. Just banging everyone with bags. Now it's walking time. Nine minute walk. Eight now. Eight minute walk. So we had to take the bus to about 10 minutes walk away. Then we walked, it's quite a fine walk actually, but it's boiling hot and we had multiple bags. But the host has been helpful since we even booked it. He's been telling us where to go. He knew the bus route from Seljuk to Denzel, I think it's Denzel, called. Denzel, yeah. Definitely saying it wrong, but oh well. But, this is, might be, the best apartment yet. We'll show you why. We'll show you. So, first of all, he brought our shoes up for us, which we really, really didn't expect. So nice. Also, if you can hear my breathing, I'm really sorry because COVID has well and truly screwed me over. So. Yes, hello. 
No, I'm just doing a blog right now. I've just got to do a room tour, okay? Okay, see you later. Bye. Ah, guys, I've been expecting you. Hello. Room tour. This place cost us £25 for two nights. So we're going to tell you, is it worth it? Is it not? Should you stay here? Should you not? So we're going to start off with the bed. Our first impression didn't look very comfy, but it actually is ridiculously comfy. Only downside is two pillows, but the pillows are very well fluffed. <laughs> so they might as well be two in there. We're going to take you to the bathroom just over here. If you can hear me breathing or Olivia breathing, we do apologise. We have had COVID. Like, I've already apologised for that. You've already apologised? Okay, I would apologise as well. Here is the sink. This is the biggest bathroom we've had, by the way. Definitely the biggest bathroom. Sink, which is wet. Hair dryer. I think it's wet because he cleaned everything. Yeah, he's literally him. cleaned everything. Um, toilet. Again, one of these weird flushy things. Maybe it's just a Turkish thing. I have no idea. But we have a huge shower that's like big enough for like 20 people. It's absolutely huge. Love that. No shower curtain. Amazing. Big thumbs up. If you follow me from here, guys, we have a mirror. A sofa that I haven't sat on. Oh, that's comfy. Outlets right near the bed. Yes. Thank God. We love that. We have a TV, which I'm pretty sure works. Does this slide in and out? This would slide in and out, but obviously it's got our towels and everything, that's definitely pretty cool. Have a little desk, laptop, everything, all of our belongings, which is cool. Wardrobe. Wardrobe, huge wardrobe. And, and what? I don't know. <laughs> Did you spot that as well? Yes. I said, oh, yes. Okay, that's good, that's really good news. We're gonna shave, the, we're gonna, I'm gonna shave, I'm gonna save this bit best for last. So we'll shave the kitchen first. Who's washing machine, we are in desperate need. We are in desperate need of a washing machine. We haven't had one for like a week now. Since Moldova. Since Moldova. We have another one here, so we can eat breakfast. And look at how many coffees and teas he's left us. Yeah, very sweet. He's a very good host. Probably the best we've had. Um, this is like all cups. There's a cheese grater. Every single kitchen utensil you need. Ooh. We have like two kettles, I'm pretty, well this is a kettle, but I'm pretty sure this is a kettle as well. Maybe just boiling water or something, I'm not sure. And then here we have literally, if you want a party of like 50, you have enough cups and plates for everyone, which is really cool. Usually you only get like two or three, but that's very handy. Nothing in the, oh, the kitchen scale. And the new appliance we haven't had yet. No. A dishwasher. Oh yes, the dishwasher. That's going to be handy. Sink, another kitchen, oh, another kitchen sink, a kitchen sink. Uh, those are just like, um, just put like fry, like frying pans. Nothing in this one. We have the hob here as well. We have some, oh, some popcorn. I have no idea. I think this is popcorn. I'm going to go with popcorn. That's pretty cool. We have oil, we have nuts, we have nougat, we have everything over there. Nougat, <laughs> nugget. Nougat. And two eggs. Which is really sweet. And then just mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, Burger King mayonnaise. I'm not quite sure what's in here. Freezer. Freezer? Oh! Oh, what is that? <laughs> Chips. <Some> Chips. <laughs> he knew we were coming. Some french fries. Lovely stuff. So that is the room. Joking. Best part. I'm going to put the slippers on. I made a mistake. My feet are soaked. Because he's just cleaned the balcony, so... Basically. This bit's all water because he's cleaned it. Look at this. Massive balcony. Probably the second big one we've got. And what I love about this place is you can see... If I can show you guys. Ready? Hey, we have a supermarket over there. The walking distance and we have another one right there so when connor gets his 12 o'clock hunger spike can i can walk there by myself i don't know if you guys know but last night i dragged olivia out at like 11 30 because i got a massive hunger spike so now there's no i i have to do it myself she's not gonna come out she's no because this is like the sixth time in a month yeah yeah but at least it's right over there so would i rate this place out of 10 Price, 10 out of 10. Hospitality from that guy, 10 out of 10. The balcony, the bed, all the appliances, a dishwasher, the iron, 10 out of 10. So, 
I rate this place. 10 out of 10. This is the first 10 out of 10 I've ever I'm going to go ahead and say 9 though. Sorry, party oh. kill because of the location. It's okay, a good yeah. location, but yeah. we have to take a bus from the bus station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not too close to the city centre, but our idea isn't even going to the city centre really. We'll keep you updated on what we're doing in the next video, but we will not be going to the city centre just for now. We're going to be getting food. So for what we're doing, it's a 10 out of 10. If, you, if you're planning on staying here like going out to the city like the city centre probably a 9 out of 10 because of the location but other than that absolutely amazing so I've just gone out to do some shopping so Olivia's trusted me and sent me out and she needed some washing tablets I have no idea what I've what I've just bought <laughs> I absolutely have no idea she said three in one pods aerial or something so I picked up the closest thing I could find to a pod so I'm going to record her reaction, I guess, <laughs> to see what she thinks of what I bought. Hopefully, I got it right. Hopefully. Hopefully, because they were expensive. I don't know why they're that expensive. They're like, I don't know, they're like five pound. What? So, let's see what she thinks of them. She's got the bag. Let's see if she approves or not. Please be the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Got him? No. What's that? They're dishwasher tablets. Oh, do you need to know washing up thingies? That was so much money. <laughs> shall I return them? Yes, you should go return Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I should have known from the glass. Why of them as well oh. i sent him reference pictures it's an l there is no excuse here. it's a big l oh so i've been sent back to the shops apparently i picked up the wrong ones these are washing up tablets or something literally what is the difference they both wash up they both clean so just do you know what i mean oh people companies they do the exact same thing. So now I've got to say like, oh, wrong ones. I only got a receipt. Oh, for God's sake. Help me, help me, help me. So I went back, they took it back. They gave me like 50, whatever, however much it was for it. But it's bad news that I'm gonna have to tell Olivia is that they don't have any. So we're gonna have to go to a different supermarket. That is not my problem. That has nothing to do with me. It's, it's not my fault they don't have it. So, got to give them the bad news. So after that big palaver of getting the washing up liquids, we found it. Well, Olivia found it. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I had to go back out and go and get the right stuff. <laughs> so I guess I can't be trusted for getting those things. But after <laughs> all, <laughs> Olivia got attacked, like attacked. <laughs> Um, after getting the washing up liquid, um, we quickly washed most of our things. Well, Olivia washed most of our things, and now we're heading out for some dinner. We're not quite sure where we're going, Olivia. We're gonna go right. We're just gonna right. go to a grill, I think. A grill? Okay, that's good. We were gonna order some food because we get really lazy because we noticed that they had Popeyes. We've never had Popeyes because I don't think there is any in England, but it doesn't deliver to our address. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. So we're heading out. We're going to go to this grill. And let's see if we like it or not. Hopefully we do because we're both very hungry. We've had nothing all day. We've had a waffle and that's all. A waffle and some snacks. A waffle and some snacks that were on the bus. So we're very, very hungry. Heading out now. I'm going to take and you guys with us. I have a cat allergy. So oh, I yeah. got licked by a cat. Well, I'm okay to touch them. I'm just not okay if they lick me or scratch me. Well, we'll tell you the full story. So me and Olivia was just standing there. There was a cat next to Olivia and she walked back and she kind of yeeted the cat. No, 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 there was a cat and it was so cute. And the last few days I've been like stroking him, really showing him attention. It was a cute little black cat, mm. which I think is extra bad luck. Like, yeah. So it was under my feet and I didn't realize, had my bag on, stepped back and I literally trodden its tail, or kicked him or something. Yeah. I really didn't mean to. And then um, I felt awful because it ran off and I cried. <laughs> And cried and cried. So Olivia went back up to stroke it, got back his like trust and attention, and it started licking her. 
Yeah, so, I went and found it and it likes me again. Yeah, so. It licked me now. And now all my mouth <laughs> is dry is sore. and sore. Yeah. So we're heading out for some dinner now. Come join we us. I have found a little takeaway place and I think it's called Kofdesi Musa. I'm reading it off of the receipt now. <laughs> we got two large burger meals with mm -hmm. meat in it, I think. Kofdi kebab, something like that. I have no idea. Two lots of fries, two um, drinks. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. God knows what we're going to end up with. <laughs> it was 64 texture. We have realised the English rate isn't really high here. Completely our problem. Like, it's just a yeah. privilege. So we have been using Google Translate a little bit more. But to be fair, thank God for Google Translate because it has been working an absolute treat. Yeah. Like exactly. completely. So all of this was 64. So for two burgers, two drinks, two fries, and some couple sauces was three pound forty nine. We did want to try Popeyes, but it seemed to be yeah. a bit out of range. So we might be trying it tomorrow yeah. as a little hint for one of tomorrow's videos. <laughs> this is where we are. Kofte Burger Doner. That's what we're going to be eating. Well, yeah, he offered us some tiramisu or bread pudding. Yeah. I didn't know bread pudding was actually a thing here in Turkey because that's quite English, isn't it? Bread no pudding. Idea. I don't eat bread pudding. So. <laughs> so we're going to eat here rather than taking away because we're so hungry. We're going to review the food, tell you if you should eat here or not because it is actually really, really cheap. So when it comes, we'll show you what we got. So I think we was a little too nice with the food. Yeah. It was just kind of a little mess. Like, it just wasn't good at all. I think the first bite was good. And as soon as the hunger kind of wore off, we were kind of like, what are we eating? So. Yeah, it was a yeah. bit gross. Yeah, it's just not. I don't know if this is gonna focus. Yeah, it's just not very nice at all. Like, it's cooked fine. And I guess, oh, like, like people here like it because they've been brought up with it. But yeah, maybe we're just fussy English. But we're gonna head off to Burger King now, take it home with us. Because we've got a long day tomorrow and we'll probably close out the video when we get back home. You might have figured out why we're here already. Ooh. We are back at the apartment. We have got a Burger King. Excuse the washing machine. We have got... <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't. I think <laughs> it's put way too much bubbles in it, but yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to run that like five times now, <laughs> so that's gonna be great. We got the Burger King, it's secured. It came to like eight pound. Yeah. No, five pound, so it wasn't bad at all. Um, we're going to close out the video. So, Livy, can do the honours? Thank you for watching our video. Like and subscribe. We love you all. Thank you for watching. And post notifications on. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.